Good day everyone, Danny Hollywood here. How is everyone doing? Hope you're doing really good, really well, and hope you're smashing everything your end. So in today's video, we are talking about go-kart photography. Now this video should be an absolute banger. Now basically, the boy, the bay, the spirit animal, Rossi John, turns 30 today, and he had some epic plans for that big 3-0. Now him and Lucy had plans to go to Italy to go and watch the Grand Prix. Go, go! Now, obviously, due to COVID-19, he wasn't able to go. But what he doesn't know is that myself and all the boys have planned something epic for him. Now, we are going to race World Exeter, where we're going to go for the morning and we're going to do some epic go-kart racing. Now, the guys there have been absolutely awesome with regards to organising this awesome event, where it's been obviously a bit more tricky with all these changes going on with the UK restrictions due to COVID-19. Now, just due to the time constraints that we had, obviously, I didn't have much time to vlog now i did try vlogging whilst doing this but it was so very difficult so obviously i'm just doing all the pre bits here this morning so what you're now going to see is you're going to see hopefully a really cinematic really cool fun filled action packed video sequence which will have some awesome go-karting in now unfortunately obviously i would have liked to have showcased you how we got these photos but obviously i did not have time to do that but trust me you'll want to watch to the end of the video so you can see the bangers that i got i'll talk you through which ones I like the most and obviously I've got one top tip for you when it comes to shooting especially with a lens like the 85 1.2 but let's get into this some awesome go-karting footage and you know how we do this let's do this We have it. So, go karting, race world Exeter. Thank you so much. That was absolutely awesome. But let's talk about a few of these photos, maybe three photos that I like the most. So I got this real clean banger with obviously Ross in the middle of the frame on the start finish line, which I think is really, really nice. I like mostly about it is obviously we got these clean lines across the back 
which you obviously are nice and symmetrical. And then that start finish checkered line across the bottom, which I think cleans it off nicely. The only thing I don't necessarily like about this shot maybe is that line you can see along the floor, which in an ideal world would have been banged down the middle of the frame, but unfortunately it was a little bit off to the side. Then I've got this shot where I focused in right on his head, which I really, really like. Obviously, I've got a little bit of that depth of field where his hands and the steering wheel are a little bit out of focus, but not massively out of focus, and that's where this key top tip comes in. I also like that light streak that's going across the helmet. Obviously, you can't crisply see one of his eyes, but I think that actually gives a really cool, nice little effect. And then obviously this last shot where I'm just peeking over the barricade slightly, really, really, really cool shot. I like obviously the depth of field, that blurry sort of bottom part of the photo, and then obviously him coming around that bend. Pretty cool. I like them. Okay, now we've got the top tip. Now, even though the aperture of this lens can go as fast as 1.2F, I actually shot all of these photos at 2.0F. Now, the reason for this is at 2F, I'm still going to get epic bokeh. But actually, what it's going to give me is it's not going to take too much out of focus. Obviously, I'm mostly focusing on his face, and I didn't want the car, especially in some of these shots, like the wider shot, where we've actually got all of the car and Ross in frame. I didn't want just his face being in frame. I wanted actually the whole cart to be in focus as well. With this lens being so fast and so sharp, sometimes at 1.2, you're gonna be focused in on that face and actually some of what you want actually is not gonna be that clear. Now, even though you have a really fast lens, sometimes you don't wanna open up that lens too much, actually making it at 2F or 3F, maybe 2.4F is gonna be handy in some scenarios, even though your lens can do better. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Rossi John, happy 30th birthday, brother. I love you from the bottom of my heart. So I really hope that the go-karting was awesome. Maybe not as good as Italy, but you know, that's what we had. I have been Danny Hollywood. You guys have been awesome. We, we are Team Hollywood. And guys, I've got exciting news coming because the next video will be my second ever photo battle. <laughs>